As an architect, I'm sure you're aware that sometimes the design team can come with radical changes towards the end of a project as we were preparing fabrication drawings and working toward our final deliverables. Luckily, we were able to encode and embed a lot of information into the computational model ahead of time, which allowed us to merely change the initial massing and were able to successfully complete the project on time. Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us here at the Dassault Systems office in New York City. Can you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, my name is John Mikesh. I'm a computational designer at GenX Design and Technology. Um, we are a consulting firm that helps building manufacturers achieve complex projects. Can you talk about some of the challenges that you face in delivering your daily work? Of course. Some of the challenges that we face at Gen X focus really on the communication between building manufacturers, engineers, and designers. And sometimes there are issues with design intent, with the complexity, the cost of a project. And so we really see our role as navigating those three worlds and complex projects can become more um, manufacturable and under budget. And what are some of the software solutions that you use to deliver these projects? One of the key softwares we use is the 3D Experience by Katia. Um, it's a very powerful web-based platform that enables our global team to collaborate um, and share files um, seamlessly between our New York and our Turkey offices. As a computational designer, do you find that X generative design meets your needs? Absolutely. We really enjoy how it makes our life easier on the back end as we're working towards fabrication drawings by having that already built in from the beginning. It means that we don't necessarily have to worry about it as we work towards deadlines and deliverables. Are there any projects where you've used X generative design that you can talk about today? We want to find ways that we can kind of repeat the product and across the system. And so we are able to kind of take a very complex shape and break it down into its individual components very quickly. And we find that to be a very powerful use of the tool. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. And I appreciate your feedback. Thank you very much.